Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new topic about how we can control motor direction using L298 and motor driver. Okay, okay. Let's start. First, we need some instrument. Okay, instrument is that. First, you need a motor driver. Okay, this is your driver L298 and driver. Okay, and one Arduino, you know, one DC gear motor. This is our DC gear motor. Okay, 12 volt. Okay, 12 volt battery. Okay, this is your 12 volt battery and uh, uh, red pin is positive and uh, other one is negative okay uh, let's we do study about the l298 and uh, hardware okay now you see uh, you see uh, there have a two pins okay left side and right side this is for motor okay because this uh, driver is used for two motor it's control only two motor at once okay now you see have a two terminals okay you can connect two terminals of your one motor okay and second motor you can connect to this terminal okay now you see uh, this is our motor have a two pins okay two terminals okay you can choose this and this okay if you have a two motor then you can first motor connect to this terminal and second motor connect to this terminal okay now you see i have one uh, motor and i am connected to the terminal two okay motor two pins okay you see and motor one pins is empty okay if you have a two motor then you can choose this is motor one side and this is motor two side okay now how you can choose this is motor one and this is motor two now you see this is your pins have four pins here you see and have every pins here uh, in one input one input two input three input four okay means you connect two motors okay first two pins you see this first two pins in one and in two is control this side of motors this side of motor okay okay if you are connected this type of motor like if you are connected to a motor on this terminal then you need to configure this pins in three and in four okay this one okay if you have a two motors then you configure four pins okay like if you are uh, have this uh, have a one uh, uh, like we can say if you have a one motor and you connect to the this terminal these two terminals then you need to configure in and in2 only okay no need to in3 and 4 okay if you have a uh, like if you have a one uh, motor and you connect to the this terminal okay then you need to configure in3 and in4 okay now you see i'm show my example i have one motor and i'm connected to the this terminal okay means second terminal okay then uh, what do you do i connected to the terminal number three and four you see you see two terminals are empty one and two and three and four i'm connected here okay if i uh, if this motor i'm connected to the this terminal then we need to configure these two pins first these two pins and this other two pins is empty okay now you uh, easy to understand okay now what do you do now let's we do uh, about the connection okay first you see first you see have a three pins okay now uh, you see have a three pins okay first this pin first this pin you need to connect a 12 volt supply okay now you see uh, 12 volt battery now you see 12 volt uh, supply connect to the battery like you see from battery to this terminal this terminal okay this is 12 volt positive 12 volt okay and this pin like this is a center terminal center terminal connect to the ground okay now you see this ground pin now you see this ground pin i am connected to the center okay now you see okay all done and what do you do you need a one extra terminal like you uh, the, uh, like this okay this terminal you need to connect to the ground of your uh, arduino okay otherwise your motor is not work okay this pin means ground you take a ground or loop and connect to the ground of your arduino arduino okay no need to connect to the 5 volt of arduino only you need to connect to the ground pin okay that's all okay now you see okay all done and now you see have a two terminals i am connected here this is for this motor uh, this motor terminal okay and i am connected to the last two terminal pin number six and seven you see i am connected to the pin number six and seven okay now you see okay connection all done if you have any doubt you can message me okay i will reply soon okay guys now let's come on the programming okay first you need to open arduino you know okay now this is your arduino you know okay now you see this is int int and i am uh, create a variable that is relay one 
and relay 2 okay relay 1 i am enter here uh, pin number 6 because one terminal i connect to the 6 and second terminal connect to the 7 that's why i am enter here 6 and 7 okay and same here relay 2 is a variable 2 and this value stored in integer uh, data type okay same here and i'm uh, in the message you see motor 1 and motor 1 okay why i'm choosing two uh, like two pins because we need to change the direction okay forward and reverse okay that's why i am choose here 6 and 7 pin okay you can choose any one 4 5 as per comment okay now i am uh, creative one variable that is bit bt okay you can change any name and in the initial zero value store in this okay this is correct type okay now let's come on the void setup it's very important i think you already know uh, now what's the mean of void setup and void loop okay if someone is new then uh, visit on my tutorial about the visa okay now i'm entering serial dot begin okay this is your uh, like we can see here serial monitor okay for uh, open your serial monitor i'm entering 600 okay this is your board rate okay and uh, we need to declare a pin okay now i'm uh, choose two uh, pins like six and seven that's why we need to declare here that is your input or output okay now i'm entering here pin mode relay comma output means uh, my one pin relay one is my output okay pin number six is your output and same here relay two is also my output that's why i am declare here pin mode okay that is void setup only once time okay now let's come on the void loop it's very important uh create a void loop okay now enter a statement if serial dot available means if your this serial monitor is open and if it gives some value then this loop is continue okay now when serial monitor is available and gives some uh, greater than zero value okay then bt i already created bt that is your variable okay for uh, store a value okay bt is equal to serial dot read okay means serial means if you are open your serial monitor and you give us some command that's command store in your bt okay means serial dot read if serial uh, you uh, you give some command serial read and it's stored in uh, your variable that is bt okay all done now uh, now let's do some logic okay help of this you can control your motor like if bt equal equal 3 means if serial monitor is open and you enter the command 3 if bt equal equal 3 then your motor move forward okay how forward like uh, like you see digital write means you need to write data to your digital pin okay right here this is parameter digital write and relay one what is relay one relay one you already know relay number is one that is value six okay six is output okay now six terminal is high okay and the relay to seven terminal is low means uh, your command like six pin is on and seven pin is off that time your motor move forward okay that is the command okay if serial give three okay means if you are enter a three value to your serial monitor then this condition is execute okay again again this condition is like else if bt equal equal to means if you give or you enter a two from serial monitor then this condition is executed in this condition like relay one is low and relay two is also low why because this is stop okay when you press two that time your motor is stop condition okay like you see relay one and relay two low means zero zero not working that time your motor is stop okay and the next condition is else if bt equal equal one if you are giving some one value to your serial monitor that time your motor is move backward because relay one is low and relay two is high in uh, opposite to this condition like uh, in the forward condition relay one high and relay two is on but in this condition relay one low and relay two is high okay it's very simple okay you can easy to do uh, you can easy to write this program it's very easy uh, okay okay guys now what you do you need to upload your program now click to upload okay now you see it's going to upload okay now you see it's working here okay now you see uh, uploading done 
okay now let's we uh, do uh, let's we uh, try or test help of uh, serial monitor now you see have a on right side have a serial monitor open this serial monitor now you see this is your serial monitor and you uh, choose your board rate 9600 and you need to connect this pin okay, okay ground this pin. ground pin you need to connect to the ground of your arduino okay and uh, positive supply connect to your positive pin okay i think you already know i already cleared this topic <coughs> okay now let's do test okay first you need to uh, uh, press one and click to enter now you see your motor is rotate but have some problem okay now you see wire losing okay forward now if i enter a two and enter you see motor stop if i enter three now you see it's rotate back side means reverse type reverse side okay again i am entry one now you see direction okay again to stop okay all done now let we uh, do uh, help of live view okay if someone is new uh, please visit on my tutorial tutorial one two three four because in this tutorial i already uh, clear this topic about visa write visa read everything okay <clears throat> now let's come on this topic about this is the program of your motor command okay this is the problem is very simple okay first you need a visa open now right click here come to uh, measurement io sorry come to instrument io visa and you can choose from this okay visa open like advance visa open okay drag here and uh, visa close here you can drag okay and visa right you can drag here okay now all this <clears throat> okay now uh, why i'm choosing visa right because we need to uh, give a command from here from live view okay that's why i'm choosing visa right okay now now first you need to uh, right click here and create a visa resource name this is your visa resource name you need to declare here your com okay com port okay now uh, this is my latest com now i'm select com 7 okay all done now again this is visa right you see have right buffer right click here and create a control okay you can choose anyone but right now i am create here uh, like so string right click here come to string and string control drag here like this okay i already uh, created now delete this one and this string uh, this string now you see this is your control string okay now what do you do uh, uh, connect to this terminal and connect to your visa right okay why because this is your motor command or we can see serial you need to enter here one two three as per your motor uh, program okay in a, in your motor program uh, when you press a one then your motor is moved forward if you press two then stop three then reverse okay help of this you can easy to control okay that's why i'm connect here and connect to directly to visa right okay now in this condition i'm uh, entering some condition if your value is equal equal to then <clears throat> your led is on that is motor stop if equal equal one then your uh, one led on that is motor forward if value equal equal three then your reverse value is operate okay this is your indication like all done okay this is your uh, written count it's uh, show uh, any uh, your uh, data okay data type okay now you need to run first you uh, select your com port okay i already uh, selected now click to run now you see uh, have some problem now again uh, refresh it okay now what do you do first uh, close this remove your wire okay again connect okay again uh, come here and click to refresh again select your latest comb like this okay now again click to run okay now let me do first you need to one that is i went to one and you see motor rotate okay and uh, in the live view motor forward indicator out. if you are enter two like you see motor stop okay if you are enter three like i am enter three and you see reverse motor on and indication also if i again press one then motor reverse motor forward again two now you see motor stop it's amazing working grateful okay you see have a led also blink okay this is your connection if you have some doubt then you message me i will provide you connection otherwise i already told you about step by step you can follow this video step by step okay guys or uh, have a some modification like right click here sorry first you need to uh, turn off okay now come here right click here and you see you need to uh, 
click this update value while typing okay this is very important that's why if i enter some value that time it's autom uh, automatically update and working okay if you are uh, like disable this pin is disabled you need to enable this pin like click this one now you see it's enabled okay now all done you can easy to modify as per your uh, like your program you can choose two motor also okay if you are choosing a two motor then you need to uh, uh, declare in your program like here if you are choosing two motor then you need to define two pins extra like control c m and control v sorry uh, sorry like control v okay if you are choose two motor then you need to declare like three then uh, four okay different variable and you need to select pins like eight and nine okay same here if you are using two other like a two motor then you need to define here also because that also your output like uh, relay three and relay four four like this okay you can easy to modify if you have any doubt you can message me i will uh, update you soon Okay guys, thank you so much guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much guys.